Hello, good morning students. Welcome to my channel. Today in this class, we are going to do word meanings, who said to whom and all exercises of chapter, the cherry tree. So let's start with word meanings. Now here students, first word is stunted. Stunted means cut short. Cut short, jiski growth puri na hui ho. Avixit. Sheltered. Sheltered means protected. Protected hair, sheltered means ashray and protected means surakshit. Now in this chapter, the meaning of sheltered is protected, surakshit. Next is ranger, keeper of a forest or a park. Jise hindi mein chhetra pal bhi kehte hai, jo jungle ya park ki dekbhal karta hai. Tank, a strong taste, khatas bhara, tez khatta swad. Next is yielding, giving way under pressure. दबाने पर जो चीज दब जाए लचीला या दबैल भी जिसे कहते हैं नेक्स्ट इज प्रिवेसी प्रिवेसी मीनिंग इज प्रोटेक्शन प्रिवेसी का मीनिंग है एकांत गोपनीयता और यहां पर इसका अर्थ है प्रोटेक्शन प्रोटेक्शन अर्थात सुरक्षा नेक्स्ट इज मिनिवेट्स एशियन सॉन्ग बर्ड्स विद बोल्ड पैटर्न्स ऑन द बॉडी एशियन बर्ड्स हैं जो गाती हैं और जिनकी बॉडी पर बोल्ड पैटर्न्स होते हैं एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर Next is flitted, moved swiftly, उड़ते रहे, flit means उड़ना और flitted means उड़ते रहे. Next is foliage, leaves of a plant or tree, पौधे या पेड के पत्ते, तो foliage का अर्थ है पत्ते. Next is reading comprehension given on page number 20, under this few true false are given, you have to write T for T. Right statement and F for wrong statement. So first one is Rakesh ate all the cherries before he reached his grandfather's house. Dada ji ke ghar pahunchne se pehle Rakesh ne sari cherries khali. This is false. Ye galat hai. His grandfather told him stories about animals and ghosts. Uske dada ji usse janwaro ki aur bhuto ki kahaniya sunate the. This is true. Next, the cherry tree grew slowly in the monsoon. Cherry ka peed monsoon ke season mein dheere dheere badhta hai. This is false. Monsoon mein wo tez badhta hai. Next is, after the goat ate the leaves, Rakesh's grandfather said that the tree would die. Jab bakri ne peed ki saari pattiya kha le, to dada ji ne kaha ki ab ye peed murjha jayega. This is also false. False. Next is when Rakesh was nine and the tree was four, it was taller than him. This is also false. Both of them were of same height. Next is Rakesh's grandfather would sit under the cherry tree on a cane chair. Rakesh ke dada ji cherry ped ke niche bed ki kursi par baatte the. This is also true. So students mark false, true, false, 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 and true. Next, we are going to do exercise B, question answers, who said to whom, given on page number 21. Here, one quotation is given from the chapter and based on that quotation, few questions are asked. You have to answer those questions. Now, let's do it. First quotation is, hey, not there. Hey, waha nahi. Now, based on this, your question is, who said these words in shabdon ko kisne kaha? Answer is, grandfather said to Rakesh. Kisne kaha? Grandfather ne Rakesh se kaha. Question number B. Why did the speaker say not there? Speaker, yaha speaker kaun hai? Dada ji, grandfather. Unho ne aisa kyun kaha ki waha nahi? Answer is, the speaker said not there because... He had sown mustard seeds there. Speaker ne kaha ki waha nahi kyunki waha unho ne sarso ke beej lagaye the. Next question. Did the listener go somewhere else? If so, where? Listener, sunne wala kya kahi aur gaya? Agar haan, to kaha gaya? Answer is, yes, the listener went to the corner of the garden. Haan, listener us bagiche ke kone me gaya. Next quotation is, what's so special about this tree? Why do we like it so much? 
इस पेड़ में ऐसी क्या खास बात है हम इसे इतना पसंद क्यों करते हैं नाउ बेस्ड ऑन दीज लाइन क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज हु सेट दिस ये किसने कहा आंसर इज राकेश सेट दिस ये राकेश ने कहा नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर बी वाई डिड दे लाइक द ट्री सो मच उन्हें वो पेड़ क्यों इतना पसंद था आंसर इज दे लाइक द ट्री सो मच बिकॉज दे प्लांटेड इट देम सेल्स उन्हें वो पेड़ इतना पसंद इसलिए था क्योंकि उसे उन्होंने खुद लगाया था ना क्वेश्चन नंबर सी हाउ डिड द स्पीकर फील अबाउट हिमसेल्फ आफ्टर वॉचिंग द ट्री ग्रो स्पीकर को अपने बारे में कैसे महसूस हुआ जब उसने पेड़ को बढ़ते हुए देखा आंसर इज ही फेल्ट टू बी अ गॉड उसे गॉड होने का एहसास हुआ नाउ नेक्स्ट इज क्रॉसवर्ड पजल गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी टू क्लूज आर गिवन अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्लूज यू हैव टू फिल दिस क्रॉसवर्ड पजल नाउ लेट्स टू इट नाउ हेयर यू कैन सी वन डाउन साइड बिगनिंग विद जी the word is glance g l a n c e glance then two horizontally it is week w e a k week and then you can see six across it is caterpillar c a t e r p i w l a r caterpillar and then three down you can see stunted s t u n t e d then three down you can see stunted s t u n t e d stunted then come to eighth one across it is flitted f l i d w t e d flitted and then come to ninth across it is plodded p l o d w d e d plodded now come to four number down side it is yielding Y I E L D I N G yielding. Then five number downside it is blossom. B L O B L S O M blossom. And then seventh number downside it is valley. V A B L L E Y valley. And tenth number across it is moment. M O M E N T moment. So in this way you will complete this. crossword the uh, next exercise given on page number 23 is circle the subjects and underline the predicates in the following sentences now let's do it children first is rakesh kept the cherry in his mouth for some time now what is subject subject is doer of the action jo action ko karne wala hai जिसके बारे में सेंटेंस में बात की गई है और प्रेडिकेट क्या है रेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस जो आपको सब्जेक्ट के बारे में कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन देता है सो हेयर हु इज डूअर ऑफ द एक्शन किसने एक्शन किया राकेश राकेश केप्ट द चेरी इन हिज माउथ फॉर सम टाइम राकेश ने चेरी को अपने मुंह में थोड़े समय के लिए रखा तो काम करने वाला कौन है राकेश राकेश इज सब्जेक्ट यहां पर हम इसके बारे में बात कर रहे हैं और क्या बात कर रहे हैं रेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस इज प्रेडिकेट नेक्स्ट इज द चेरी ट्री बेंट लो अब कौन है करता किसके बारे में बात हो रही है द चेरी ट्री सो द चेरी ट्री इज सब्जेक्ट एंड बेंट लो इज प्रेडिकेट We planted it ourselves. हमने इसे खुद लगाया है तो यहाँ पर एक्शन कौन करने वाला है We सर्कल वी दिस इज सब्जेक्ट एंड रेस्ट इज प्रेडिकेट द सीड वी प्लांटेड लास्ट ईयर हैज कम अप वो बीज जो हमने लास्ट ईयर लगाया था वो ऊपर आ गया है सो हेयर द सीड क्या चीज लगाया गया था द सीड बीज लगाया गया था बीज के बारे में बात हो रही है सो द सीड इज सब्जेक्ट हेयर नेक्स्ट देयर इज जस्ट द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ शेड देयर वहां पर बिल्कुल सही मात्रा में छाया है तो कहां पर किसकी बात हो रही है वहां पर देयर इज सब्जेक्ट हेयर एंड रेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस इज प्रेडिकेट नेक्स्ट ही कुड रन एंड जम्प एंड क्लाइम ट्रीज एज वेल एज मोस्ट बॉयज नाउ हेयर About whom we are talking? He. उसके बारे में बात हो रही है He is subject. And rest part of the sentence is predicate. Next, number सेवेंथ is Rakesh removed it quickly. Rakesh ने उसे जल्दी से हटा दिया तो यहां पर किसने काम किया Rakesh is subject here. And rest part of the sentence is predicate. Now he stopped in front of the cherry tree. वो cherry पेड़ के सामने रुक गया तो यहां पर subject क्या है He. 
and rest part of the sentence is predicate next we are going to do fill in the blanks given on page number 23 fill in the blanks with the simple present tense form of the verbs paying attention to the subject verb agreement subject verb agreement kya hota hai verb hamesha subject ke according hi use hota hai aur simple present tense mein kya hota hai wo cheeze wo kaam jo hum roz karte hain wo sare simple present tense mein aate hain jaise you go to school you sit you read you dance you listen to music you eat so all these things which you do in your daily life or in daily routine with singular noun and with he she it pronoun we always use s form of verb and with plural noun and i you we they pronoun we use always base form of verb so let's do it children here during the long summer evenings rakesh and grandfather now plural number is there so base form of verb will be used sit rakesh and grandfather sit in the shade of the cherry tree grandfather now singular noun so s form of verb will be used grandfather tells rakesh stories of people who had turned into animals and rakesh singular noun so s form of verb will be used rakesh reads the paper aloud sometimes rakesh again singular noun s form of verb gazes up at the sky through the trees grandfather and rakesh plural number often wonder why they enjoyed looking at this particular tree when they are now here you can see in your book bracket word b is given now forms of b is is am are for present tense and was were you can use for past tense so here if we have to fill in the blank with simple present tense and as it is plural number so are will be used are so many in the valley around them grandfather singular noun so s form of verb thinks it is because they planted it themselves rakesh again singular noun so s form of verb rakesh says he singular pronoun so feels with he she it also s form of verb is used so rakesh says he feels like god because they nurtured the seedling to a tree so in this way you will fill in the blanks according to the simple present tense next exercise is given on page number 24 make anagrams now first of all what is anagram anagram kya hota hai jab pehle se koi ek word diya ho aapko uske letters ko rearrange karke ek dusra word banana hai ise anagram kehte hain now students to understand this topic in detail you can watch video on my channel i have made one complete video on anagram on my channel it is there now let's do this now here word is alter see this is already a word ye pehle se ek shabd hai ab humne iske letters ko rearrange kar diya shuffling kar di aur ek naya word bana diya later this is anagram next is name we can make mean race care ruby busy glean angle seal seal so in this way you can make more than one or two words also now last exercise of this chapter is my word bank given on page number 25 exercises make two sentences with the word cover each with a different meaning aapko cover word se do vakya banane hain dono vakyon mein cover word ka alag alag arth hoga so you can make I have to cover all my books. मुझे अपनी सारी बुक्स को कवर करना है उन पर कवर चढ़ाना है Next is he has covered a long distance to reach here. उसने यहाँ पहुंचने के लिए बहुत लंबी दूरी तय की है So you can see students in both the sentences cover has different meaning. So that's all for today. I hope you have understood the chapter. If you like my way of teaching then like comment share and subscribe my YouTube channel so that's all for today bye bye thanks for watching